here for today's video, which is an apple pie recipe. You guys, this is like my go-to die-hard apple pie recipe. This is like all things fall, which by the way, happy fall. So I thought it would be super fun. This video might not be super long, but I hope you enjoy. And if you make this, make sure to tag me on Instagram or let me know that you made it and how you liked it. It is my absolute favorite pie recipe. Without further ado, let's get into it. I'm gonna start off with the crust. You could use any crust recipe, but I'm gonna use my favorite one. It's super flaky and buttery and just all around delicious. Fun fact, I have a care patcher appointment in a half hour. It's about a 10 minute drive, so I'm gonna try to whip this crust together. Okay, to start things off, I have four cups of flour here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my bowl. And then we are gonna add two tablespoons of sugar and one teaspoon of salt. And then I am gonna just stir this around. Next I'm gonna take my lard and I'm just gonna put that right in here. This is what helps it get that buttery goodness taste. So good. Got my little pastry blender here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and mix this together. Now I'm gonna get one cup measuring and I'm just gonna go ahead and crack an egg into it. And then also put in my vinegar. It's a tea, nope, a tablespoon of vinegar. And then you just wanna fill this cup the rest of the way with water. I'm just gonna whisk this now. And then we're gonna add that to the rest of this mixture and stir that in. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll this out. You wanna divide this in about four pieces and then roll it out and put it in the pan. So I'm gonna do that now. Anyway, but we'll just keep right on going and hopefully you can still see what's happening. This crust is now put together and little disclaimer, I had a blonde moment and popped this thing in the oven for a couple minutes and then I was like, wait, you're not supposed to bake it until it's done. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it the right way from now on out. It was only in there a couple minutes, so shouldn't be too much damage done. I'm gonna go ahead and take my sugar. I have about one and a half cups sugar and I'm just gonna pour that in my bowl here. And then I have two third cups flour and four tablespoons of butter. So I'm gonna put that into my bowl here. And then I'm just gonna mix this together to form crumbs. While we do that, I would love to know in the comments below what is you guys' favorite fall dessert? And also, if you have any fall videos that you would like to see on my channel, make sure to let me know down below. I know there's so much fun stuff coming up with the holidays and all. Okay, this is looking pretty good now. I'm gonna sprinkle about half of this into my um, pie crust. Now I'm gonna grab my apples and we are gonna go ahead and peel these. There's actually a great big apple tree on our yard here that has lots of apples, so these do not look perfect, but they are really tasty. 
So we're gonna go ahead and peel these, cut them in half, take the seeds out, and then pop them onto the pot. Days of September. Dancing through the last days of September. take the rest of these crumbs and just sprinkle them on top and then I'm going to take my cream and just drizzle that all over here and then we're done okay so this is what it looks like now I'm going to pop it in the oven at 425 for 15 minutes and then we're going to decrease the temperature to 325 and cook it for another 35 minutes Got the cinnamon. <laughs> Sprinkled generously with cinnamon. All right, and this is the finished product of the pie. Now, I also made some caramel sauce that I'm gonna drizzle over once these are served in pieces, but serve it with some vanilla ice cream or whipping cream or whatever, plain is delicious too. I hope you enjoyed. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye guys. Bye.